Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video where I'm going to be ranking the Arrowverse characters. So on the screen right now, you can see like all the main characters. I didn't make this list, so there may be like a few people missing here and there, but they are the main ones. There is a lot of characters. I think there's nearly 50 on this one. So looking forward to this. I've seen some other people do it, and I think it's a very interesting idea, and you guys can see, like, some of my opinions on some of these characters. Maybe you would vote differently, maybe you would vote the same, I don't know. But anyway, let's get into this. So, let's start off straight away. So, basically, S tier, I don't know exactly what it means, but it's something like superior, or like, yeah, something like that. So, better than A. So, you know A, B, C, D. F, you know, F is terrible, A is amazing. Okay, so let's first off start with Harry. So this is Harry, this is not like HR, this is not any different version. Although you can see down here that there is uh, the same one, so maybe we'll use that as a different version of Harrison Wells. But let's say this first one is Harry right here. Okay, so the Earth 2 Harry, I freaking love him. I think he was a great addition. He's easily the best Harrison Wells. Obviously, we don't count Eobard Thorn because it's not Harrison Wells. So, for now, I may rearrange these later, by the way. You know, once I've gone through all of these, I might be like, eh, maybe I can drop it down or, you know, bring it up again. I will go A for now for Harry. Okay, so Hawk Girl. Hawk Girl is an amazing character. However, she was a bit of a letdown on the TV show. I don't, think, I don't think she was terrible like a lot of people think. I think she was just, you know, because I really, really, really like the character in the comics and in the animated shows. It, she was a letdown, so I'm going to go D. Uh, I don't think that's too harsh. Same thing for Hawkman. Not very good. He just was a big letdown as well. Uh, I would consider putting Hawkman probably an F, to be honest, because... Yeah, not not such a big fan. So Joe, Joe West, um, I really like Joe. It was really refreshing to see him back after he took a leave of absence this season. So I'm going to go for Joe. I'm going to go a B, like a high B, edging on an A. So maybe I'll edge it up to an A later, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let's go Iris West. So I've seen some other videos and some other people doing Iris, and like I saw one person, maybe you're watching the stream, one person put it at a D, and I was like, what? Yeah, so I really do like Iris. Although she's had her ups and downs, I think she's a very good character, and especially this season, Candace Passon has really killed it, and she's a great actress. So I'm going to go Iris. This is this is hard, but I'm going to go Iris on an A. I think maybe I prefer Harrison Wells from Earth 2 a little bit more, but yeah, I really do like Iris. Lena. So I didn't really like Lena at first, but she's grown on me over time. So I'm going to go, she's a solid B. So Nia, Nia's only been around for one season. Due to the fact that she's only been around for one season, I don't think in, compared to all these people, and the same thing goes for if they've only been around for a season or, you know, they haven't had much time. I don't think I can put her higher than like a B. So I think I'm going to go a high C for now. But I really do like her. I think she's a really good character. And I'm really looking forward to her next season. That may bam bump up to a B. But she's either a high C or like a middle B. So I keep on seeing that there is some duplicates here. So we'll just ignore like the Lena duplicate, the Joe one and yeah, and the Alex one. But anyway, let's move on. So Nissa Al Ghul. Uh, Nissa, she's good, but I like her when she pops up, but I'm not, like, a huge fan. So I would go see Ralph. He got much better. He would have been an F in Season 4. He was terrible. I actually really didn't like him at all, but he's got better, and now I will go a C because I really do think they improved him a lot in Season 5. Okay, Win. Win's one of my favorite characters in the Arrowverse, so... I'm thinking I'm going to go an A and put him there, just in front of Iris. Alex, easily the best character in Supergirl, bar Kara. She's one of my favorite characters in Arrowverse. I'm going S. Freaking love her. Okay, N uh, not Nissa, sorry. We have Vixen right here. So this is not including Charlie from the last season, who I thought, although I've not caught up with Legends. She was not good as Charlie, but this is Vixen, so I would put Vixen at about a C. 
Where would I put her between Ralph? Nah, I'd put her here. Okay, so Oliver. Oliver's amazing. Like, there's no way you can't just put him in an S because, you know, he's just so good. He's the OG. Okay, Roy Harper. Roy... I, I really like Roy, but he hasn't been in... He was only in the first few seasons, then he came back this season. I'm going to go Roy a low B. The Atten, I really like him, but I think the last season or so, or so on Legends, I think he's just got a bit repetitive. So I'm going to go a C for him. Uh, I will probably put him like high C. Brainiac. I like him, he's growing on me, but I'm not like the biggest fan on the earth, so I would reckon I'm going Brainiac on a C as well. I will probably put him around the same level. Actually, I think I prefer Ralph. I'm going to put Nissa here. Yeah, I think I prefer Ralph just a little bit more than Brainiac right now. Uh, but Alex, obviously, we've done her. This is Charlie, so you know, freaking F. Yeah, I haven't caught up with the last few episodes, but I've seen Charlie in enough episodes. Mate, she is English. She's an English actor, and you're making her do a shitty, fake English accent, like a shit Cockney accent, and it's just really, really terrible and very much so annoying. And I don't think she's a good character, really, at all. And I think she's just kind of a big letdown from... Uh, how good Vixen was because I really do kind of like Vixen quite a lot so Alex is a duplicate so maybe I'll just move that down there we have Cisco here love Cisco this season he really hasn't done much I think he's a really really good character though so I think I'm gonna go Cisco high B high B low A that might change okay Constantine I love Constantine, especially on his own show. Loved him when he appeared in Arrow. Uh, he's been really good in Legends. I think he's definitely the best bit about Season 4. So, I'm thinking Constantine is going to go high B. Yeah, just below Cisco. I really do like Constantine. Okay, so, Curtis. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Curtis hasn't really done much. He's He hasn't done much for me. I'm going to put him a high D. Ahead of uh, Hawk Girl. Okay, so now we move on. We got some more Arrow people. So we have David's character. So Spartan uh, John would probably go. I like I like John a lot, but I'm gonna go high C, high C right now. Uh, or maybe now nah, I'm gonna go B. Yeah, I think that's right. Just above Lena. Okay, so... Black Canary. Diana. I think she's pretty good. I don't think she's done anything too amazing. I'm going to go C. Uh, Felicity. I saw some people like putting her in Fs and stuff. She, I, I like Felicity. She's had her ups and downs. Just as Iris has. But I, I would put Felicity... <laughs> I reckon... High C. I would put her maybe the highest C. Like maybe edgy on a B. Yeah, I like her. I like her. But I'm not like the biggest fan. Okay, so we have Jefferson Jackson right here. Firestorm. So I'm guessing that's both Firestorm members. So I really do like Firestorm. I think Firestorm's great. Uh, I'm going to go Firestorm just underneath Joe. So now we have Barry. Obviously, Barry is going top. Like, Barry, Alex, and then uh, Stevens, obviously, as Oliver. Yeah, I, really, really good. I, I really like him. Um, let me just get rid of this scroll bar at the bottom. Well, this is... Okay, whatever. Let's just go from here. Killer Frost freaking love her also Caitlyn as well obviously and it's a tough call Killer Frost or Alex Killer Frost or Alex uh, it's a tough one 
I think I'm going to go kill Frost just after Alex. So that's Caitlyn as well. Okay, so we've already done Harry, so I'm going to put this down here. So these are a lot of duplicates. Guardian. So Guardian. Where would Guardian go? So I think he's good, but he hasn't done much. I think he's going low C above Dinah. Above, above Brainiac. Hmm. Yeah, above Ralph. Above Nia. Yeah, I think here. I do like James a lot, although his story hasn't really been doing much in the last few seasons, so I don't know. I feel like he's he's a great character and I think he's just underutilized really. Uh okay. Now let's move some of these ones down that we've already done. They're duplicates. Which are we done? Okay, so Martian Manhunter, John. Love Sean. Sean really deserves to be up there. I've put Sean at an A as well. So we have Laurel Lance. And Laurel's great. Really love Laurel. I think she's going B. I would put her maybe just above of Diggle. So we've done Lena. Firestorm. I think Firestorm is... He's very fun. I, I do like him a lot. I'm thinking maybe we go low C for him. I'm thinking maybe we drop Nissa down because it's getting quite busy around here. Um, yeah, so Firestorm there. mon -El, my freaking G. I love mon -El. I think he's one of the best characters in the Arrowverse. Chris is so good. I would put mon -El at S tier with... Um, I think I'm going second. Just over Alex. So I, I like Alex, Killer Frost, you know, Caitlyn. The... They're all the same for me. I love them so much. Okay, let's put Nia down here. So we have Nate. For Nate, I would go... I just have... I like him, but he's not that interesting. So I'm going, like, high D, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit harsh, but... Yeah. Okay, Wild Dog. Same thing. I like him. He's just not, like, super interesting. So... Yeah, I really do like Rip. Rip is a great character. I really think Legends is missing out on not including Rip, like, a lot this season. Because he hasn't even appeared. But, yeah, I really do like Rip. So I'm thinking Rip is going B. I think he's going to go above Joe. Above, yeah, above Constantine. I think there. Okay, Sarah Lance. Love Sarah. I think Sarah is about the same place as Rip. I think Sarah goes there. That's a good pick. I think she has had her ups and downs as well. I think a lot of these characters have had their ups and downs. Like, this season, Sarah's not as good. But she was really, really good. Especially, like, on Arrow. And then, you know, in the early seasons of Legends. Okay, so we've got Deathstroke. This is a strange one, how it's in here. But whatever. We'll go with Deathstroke. So, I think Deathstroke... I'm guessing they're talking about it being an anti-hero because there's no villains in this list. So, uh, as an anti-hero, as like a friend to Oliver, I don't think I can put him as high as I would for a villain. So, I'm thinking as an anti-hero strictly, I would put him at about a C. Only as an anti-hero. That's not him as a villain. That's not me ranking him as a villain. Okay, so then we have Captain Cold. And Captain Cold was great. Really ashamed that they sort of just killed him off like in the first season. I think he's a very good character on Legends. Obviously, I love him on The Flash. But I think he actually got better on Legends. And hmm, where should I put him? So do I like him more than Roy? Yeah, I think I like him more than Roy. So I think he's going B grade about here. So just before Diggle. So Speedy, that being obviously Thea. I think Thea's good, but she sort of ran out of steam and I don't think she was that good as a hero. I think she's probably going as a C because I do like Thea a lot though. Supergirl, obviously, S tier. What do I go? Supergirl or The Flash? Because they're all the same. These two are the same. These three are the same. And then Arrow is just a bit after, but he's S tier as well. So I think they're like my favorites. 
Superman. Really, really like Superman. I would put Superman when he appears. He's really good. I'd put him at an A. But he doesn't appear that much. Okay, so this is the different version of Vixen. I can't really put her higher because she only appeared like in one or two episodes of Arrow. So I'm going to have to put her just above Hawkgirl. Because she's barely appeared. Because it's obviously the other version of Vixen we have in Legends. Kid Flash. I do like Kid Flash a lot. I would put Kid Flash at around a B level. Yeah, just below Joe, maybe. I think that's a good pick. Um, we've done win already. Actually, hmm. Wins, wins. I prefer win to Harry, maybe. Just a little bit. Nora. Freaking love Nora. I think Nora's actually a really, really great character. She's going A tier as well. I'm thinking maybe she goes mm, near the bottom. I might switch her around. I'm not sure. But Nora's a really great character. I loved her this season. I thought she was really, really, really good. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why these buttons have appeared, but whatever. Okay, so now we have Zari. And I like Zari, but I don't think she's like, the best character the Arrowverse has had. I think she's very solid. I think she's a solid character. So maybe if I were to rank her, hmm, what would I do? I think she's had some good development, but I think she's a bit less interesting than she was right at the start. So I'm thinking she's going about C grade. I'm thinking maybe here. So we've done Alex. We've done all these characters. So it seems like we're about done. So just to recap. So at S tier, we have Barry, Supergirl, Monel, Alex, Killer Frost, Caitlin. Then we have Green Arrow, obviously Oliver, Wynn, Harry, Iris, Martian Manhunter, obviously Jean, Superman, Clark Kent. Nora, XS, Cisco, Rip, White Canary, obviously Sarah, Constantine, Joe, Kid Flash, Firestorm, Black Canary, Captain Cold, Spartan, obviously John Diggle, Lena, uh, Red Arrow, and then we have Felicity, then the Atom, that being Ray, obviously, and then we have the Guardian, James, Nia, Zari, Deathstroke as an anti-hero, not as a villain. Ralph, Brainy, Vixen, obviously Amaya. And then we have Thea, Diana, Firestorm. No, Firestorm, sorry, Heatwave. What am I talking about? Two fire ones from Legends. I'm going nuts. So we have Nate at a high D. Then we have Wild Dog. And then we have Nyssa. Then Curtis, the old version of Vixen. Hawkgirl, Hawkman, Charlie. And then we have these duplicates down here. So, yeah, this is my ranking for all of these main characters. Obviously, it's not every single main character that has been included. This is just the list that was made online. But these are basically most of the main characters from all the different shows, whether that be The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, or Legends of Tomorrow. So, what do you think of my list? What is your list? Is your list very similar or not? I like these videos if you want to see more, if you want to see like my rankings of all the shows or anything like that over the summer, please be sure to let me know. Also, if you have any video ideas, please send them over on Twitter. You can DM me or just tweet at me at the DCTV show. And also stay up to date with me via there or Instagram at the DCTV show as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.